Hey guys, it's Quinn here. Welcome back to the channel. Firstly, I'd just like to say thank you so much for a thousand YouTube subscribers and 10,000 TikTok followers. I literally had 83 subscribers two weeks ago, so I really appreciate it. It's, it's awesome. The elephant in the room, the TikTok. I am gonna show you the clip. I'm gonna show you the clip right now. Uh, first, let me just say, I did try to post the whole thing on TikTok. I originally posted the whole thing on TikTok, but uh, TikTok removed it, so I posted it in two parts. I posted part one, and then I meant to post part two that same day. Uh, they removed it. Uh, my TikTok is actually only like, like I said, like two weeks old. So I didn't want to get too many community guidelines strikes. So I put it up on Twitter. Um, nobody could find it on Twitter. So I'm going to show it to you right now. Uh, and then after we're going to take a look at the details. I know there was some uh, argument about <laughs> who was in the right and, and who was wrong. So hopefully we're going to figure that out. All right, here's the clip. Keep in mind, this is not me driving this go-kart. All right, let's take a look at this again. Uh, we see we are here on board. Um, this happens so fast, you can't even really, really see uh, what's going on here. Um, but here is the, the moment in question. This is the part that did not go up on TikTok. TikTok kept taking this down because it's clearly, uh, you know, pretty intense and, and he uses a lot of uh, a profanity, but uh, the real question in here is uh, who's at fault? Who is at fault? I mean, guys shouldn't have punched other guy, of course, um, but was the move on in general? We're going to play this back again here, and we see we are actually on the outside. We're offline. He's not on the apex here. He gets overtaken. This guy comes through and does bump him off, uh, and then he purposefully rams back into him and, and gets him off track. Uh, now, let's cut it here. All right, we're going to take one more look here in slow motion. So, uh, the driver gets overtaken here uh, by this guy who's coming in on, on the line. He's on the racing line. Our current driver's off the racing line. This guy comes in and, and goes, comes out wide and, and does push him out wide. If you do look, though, it does not look like this guy has got a ton of control of the cart. Uh, to me, it looks like this guy lost a little grip and uh, ran into our driver here and pushed him wide. And this was, uh, you know, total overreaction. We don't need to see this part in slow motion. If we slow it down even more, it's even more clear what's happening here. It looks like the driver on the inside hits the curb a little bit and jumps off the curb and that pushes him wide, uh, pushing the, the guy with the GoPro uh, wide. Um, and this guy, I guess, thought that it must have been deliberate and, and went for it. Um, my verdict is, uh, this was a racing incident. The retaliation was like totally out of hand and it, you know, it's never appropriate to, to hit somebody at the car track. At the end of the day, we're all just trying to have fun where it's, it's arrive and drive go-karts. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I definitely think this is an overreaction. All right guys, so there you have it. That was undoubtedly the nastiest karting clip I've ever seen. Please do not replicate that behavior. Um, that's not what most karting drivers are like. We have a fantastic community here and we really don't, we don't like that kind of, uh, you know, negative, aggressive energy uh, anywhere near the racetrack. Uh, if you enjoyed watching, guys, please check out some of my other videos. Um, I'm, a, I'm a small creator. I've been making some karting content, but I'm going to start doing some sim racing stuff as well as live streaming on uh, new live streams every Wednesday at 6 o'clock Pacific. Thanks again so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next Wednesday with a new video.